lately from the border crisis and wars overseas. Right now, they want to focus on taking on TikTok. It's going to be a big battle here. The bill that may result in the ban of the popular app is gaining momentum on Capitol Hill with a vote on it expected this week. Fox 40 contributor Hannah Brandt joins us live from Washington, D.C. Hey, Hannah. Zach, Melanie, good morning. The bill would force Chinese company ByteDance to sell TikTok in order to keep the app available in the U.S. Otherwise, it would be banned. Lawmakers are worried about TikTok. It uses the data of Americans to basically read your mind and predict what videos you want to see. With millions of U.S. users, Senator Marco Rubio says that power is dangerous because of the app's ownership. The problem is the algorithm that powers it is controlled by a company in China that must do whatever the Chinese Communist Party tells them to do. In a Senate hearing on Monday, FBI Director Christopher Wray talked about the threats the app presents and acknowledged that TikTok could be used to push conspiracy theories, influence U.S. elections, and manipulate public opinion. And users may not even know it's happening. Extraordinarily difficult to detect, which is part of what makes the national security concerns represented by uh, by TikTok so significant. That's why lawmakers are considering a bill to force TikTok's owner to sell or face a U.S. ban. Last week, in a rare moment of unity, a House committee unanimously voted to move the bill forward. There was a strongly bipartisan vote uh, that is impressive in nature in any instance. Now, leaders are planning to bring it up for a vote in the full House on Wednesday. And support for the bill is only growing among Republicans, Democrats, and the White House. If they pass it, I'll sign it. Former President Donald Trump is lobbying against the bill, saying he thinks that getting rid of TikTok will only help Facebook. Zach, Melanie, back to you. Okay, Hannah, thank you very much. Okay,